kick back, unwind, and enjoy a rare find. Today, we have 31 rare finds. 32 rare finds. First up, we have some garbage pail kids that were just chilling on a random table. We got the whole stack for a dollar. Let's go through them and check them out. Some of these, I already have a little garbage pail kids collection going on over here on my shelf. You can see it over over there. And some of these I have, and some of these I don't. So here's the first one, Grim Jim. I don't have this one, but I liked it a lot when I was a kid. I think I had, uh, I think I might have had both versions of this, both of the names. We have Rod Wad. Never had this one when I was younger, but I have it now and I have a couple of them over in my uh, box over there. Kud Cody. I really liked this one when I was younger and I, I don't have this one until now and it's like somebody stuck the sticker on a different card, but that's cool. All makes it all, um, makes it unique and personal. Creamed Keith. Pretty happy to add this one to my collection. I don't have it yet, but I had it when I was a kid. Juicy Jessica, one of my favorites from when I was younger. Puffy Buffy, now that's a crazy card from the 80s. I never had that one when I was a kid. But Bit Brandon, this was one of the later series. You can see the top is uh, the logo has changed a little bit. That was like series, I forget, 11, 12, 13, something like that. But I think I had this when I was younger. Um, I don't remember, maybe. We got both versions of these, Bruce. Bruised Lee and Karate Kate. I like this one a lot because it has all the cracks. Like I never knew if that could happen or not when I was younger. So I was like, wow, he's got cracks in his head. Like if I fall over on my bike, am I gonna? Is my head gonna crack like an egg? Like I didn't know anything about that back then. And the last one is this one. It's just blank, but I think it's the one that has the horse on it with the flies. I'm gonna try to find a picture of it from my other rare finds video because I had one in that one. Okay. Next rare find. Next up, we've got this beautiful baby. And this is the JVC iArt, if you can see up there in the top. And it's supposedly comparable to the JVC D series that we played on, and it's comparable to the Sony FS13100. This is the 13 inch eye art, which is apparently really rare, and I tried it out. It looks great, but the brightness was turned up too much on mine. And there's no, um, put it down. There's no um, adjustments on the front. There's no menu button, anything like that. So I'm gonna have to turn the brightness or the contrast down with uh, my universal remake, but it looks really nice, except it's like super bright, all the white text and everything. Maybe it'll live up to the hype, coming to a future Battle 2D Reload episode. Okay, next to our find. This is the G.I. Joe Battle Force Vector Jet. And it's missing some pieces, it's missing, missing this thing, it's missing that thing, it's missing that thing, it's missing this thing. But it was $2 and that's okay with me. Can't beat that. Next to finds. Next to finds are, I've got eight Blockbuster DVD rentals. I should just open up my own Blockbuster video store at this point because I've got a bunch of them down here on my shelf. Tons of them, so let's go through the movies and check them out. The first one is Dune, the year 2000 Dune. I've never seen this one before with William Hurt. And the case is really weird. It's like a different one with this, different one with this groove in it. And I won't be watching it from here because it's not in there. But the case is pretty cool. Here's a new release. It's for The City of Ghosts. I don't think I've ever seen that movie. This one's in here. Oh, look at this um, pretty cool ad in here. Sign up for AOL and get 12 free movie rentals. That's pretty cool. I think we we didn't we never had AOL back then. We had some local thing or something. But I used AIM, AIM, quite a bit. Next up, we have a new release. It's for Bleed 2. Pretty cool. Oh, I've seen that movie. It's okay. Next up, we have the Rundown. 
with the rock. We never knew the rock was gonna be like he is today. We just uh, thought of him, thought of him as a wrestler, just doing some uh, movies back in back then. But we all know what what happened there. There's the man himself. Next up, we have two can play that game. Never heard of that one before. Next up, we have Memphis Bell. Isn't that a? You no, know hold on a second. I thought that was coming up in the VHSs, but Memphis Bell isn't that about a plane or something? I've never seen it. Next up, we have Jesus Camp. There's some Jesus Camp for you. Sounds like a flimsier case. It's interesting. Next up, we have Never Get Out of the Boot. Never heard of this one before. Okay, the next rare finds are VHS tapes. Saved the best for last. Well, let's check them out. Okay, I have some sealed ones and some not sealed ones. So we're gonna go over the not, the not sealed ones first. Got the Karate Kid Part 3. I've never seen this one. I need Parts 1 and 2. Maybe I'll uh, watch this one soon. The Perfect Weapon with Jeff Speakman. I watched this. I did watch this one and it's uh, it's interesting. I wouldn't... I don't know if he's the perfect weapon or not, but that's what, uh, that's what they say. New gun, new knife, new equal. I got Screw, just the one with Alistair Sim. And I got this because it's the Blockbuster Video one, Blockbuster Classics. It's got that, and it's got the logo. Got some logos down here. That's pretty cool. And then I got Willow, one of my favorite childhood movies. And I believe this is the first VHS release. If anyone knows if that's right or not, let me know in the comments. Okay, the next ones, the last ones we have, are all sealed VHSs for the sealed collection. We have eight of them. First one is The Nightmare Before Christmas. I really like this one a lot. Then we have Braveheart and the two VHS uh, big thing here. I like that movie a lot too, but it's been a long time since I've seen it. We have Batman Forever. I honestly don't know if I've seen this all the way through. And I'm not going to open it and find out. I'll watch it. Maybe one day. We got Snake Eyes with Nicolas Cage, sealed for the sealed collection. And we got some more Nick Cage with Travolta face off. Pretty much, I think everyone knows what this movie is. Sealed for the collection. We got three left. We got Hot Shots Part Do. I don't know if I've ever, um,. I've seen the first one. I don't know if I've ever seen the second one. We have Bridget Jones' Diary. Never seen this one. And the last one I found that's sealed is a movie I've only heard about. It's Raise the Titanic. And it looks like Chuck Norris on the front, but that's not who that is. I've heard that it's really, really bad, but I'll have to... I mean, it's sealed. I'll have to save it for... And I find it on YouTube or something. Well, that's it. And remember, like Indiana Holmes always says, keep up the grind and you'll get a rare find. And enjoy a rare find. <clears throat> find.